Super DSLR. Super. Hey guys, so uh, basically today what I'm gonna go over is how to uninstall Magic Lantern firmware from your Canon 550D when you have problems. So um, one thing that has come up recently is um, Technicolor released its new flat picture style, Cine style, and this has um, kind of created some problems with a lot of people for Magic Lantern. And I believe that was the source of my problem yesterday when I was filming and uh, I tried to end the film. It wouldn't end, so I tried turning off the camera, but it wouldn't turn off, so I had to take out the battery. Remember, if any problems ever arise, always take out the battery right away to avoid overheating and damage to your camera. Um, so I'm going to go over uninstalling Magic Lantern and then also installing the latest May 12th version and um, that will go over everything um, of a lot of the new features in the version and uh, yeah so just enjoy and leave a comment below on what you think of the new version or um, any tips or anything so here you go hello guys all right so what you're gonna do to uninstall the magic lantern firmware step one you're gonna put the card from your camera into your computer like so and uh, it'll pop up um, meanwhile while you're waiting for it to pop up you can go to the first link labeled in step one and this will take you to the latest Canon uh, EOS EOS Rebel T2i 550 firmware update and what you want to do is download I'm on Windows so download the Windows version That'll give you an exe file. Then your this will pop up. Open folder to view files. So as you can see, this is the card from the camera. As you can see, it had all the um, Magic Lantern files on here. And what we need to do is get rid of all those, but do not just delete them because that'll mess up your card and ultimately mess up your camera. So first thing you need to do is go in here. You downloaded this. Um, find it in your computer and then you're gonna drag it <coughs> drag the file onto your um, SDHC card from your camera and let it copy onto there like so next thing you're gonna do after that is you're gonna open up magic.cfg file so open that notepad and then you're going to come in here and do not be careful with this this is very important information for the magic lantern software to run the firmware to run and um, you only need to change one thing and that's right here magic disable boot disk f equals zero and what we need to change it to is one because as you see here if it is set to one that disables the boot disk flag. And what that means is it disables the ability to write files to that card. Um, therefore, your camera will disassociate itself with the Magic Lantern firmware. This is from the um, user guide for Magic Lantern. So, you have your official Canon firmware 1.09 uh, on your card, that's a the file name is e8krf7109.exe, and then you have your magic CFG file, and you want to change this zero value to one, and then you're gonna click File Save. Let that save. Exit out of it. Don't do anything else. Exit out of here and safely remove the card from your computer. Alright, next step is you're going to take your camera, make sure it is set in a manual mode such as the M mode here, or AV or any of those work, and you're going to put the card that you just uh, put that file on, you're going to put that in there and turn the camera on, and give it a second. Alright, and then your camera's on, you're going to go into menu, 
and you're going to go over to the third wrench and you're going to come all the way down to firmware version where it says 109 and then it will have the build version of your Magic Lantern software. You're going to click OK. It will ask you um, if you want to update and you'll click OK. So what it's going to do is it's going to find the original Canon firmware uh, the version 109 on that card and it's going to basically restore the settings of that firmware and get rid of Magic Lantern. So this is the main step in uninstalling. You'll see this red light is on. Once that goes off, you're good. Uh, turn the camera off for a second. Leave it off, then turn it back on. Then you're going to want to go back into Menu, and you're going to go over to Format. Go down here to Format on the first wrench menu and you want to do a low level format so you do that by clicking the trash button and then click OK to format uh, the card with the Magic Lantern files and what this is going to do is this will um, delete all of those Magic Lantern files and basically restore the original firmware of the Canon t type Okay, so now it's done formatting. Go ahead and uh, you can move it all the way to video mode here. And you will notice that the Magic Lantern software is gone. There's no audio levels or anything. The software, the firmware is totally gone. The hack is disabled. Your camera is now just as it was when you bought it. So there you go. That is uninstalling Magic Lantern. So now you're going to go ahead and put the SDHC card into your computer. And it should pop up. And while you're doing that, go ahead and go to the second link. Um, I'll call it step one of reinstalling. <laughs> and um, this is basically a link to the Vimeo group page Magic Lantern forum page, and this is a great, uh, helpful source for any questions you have on Magic Lantern. Um, and what you want to do is go to forums, and um, the top one where it says release log, go here for latest Magic Lantern builds for the 550D T2i. You click that, you'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see a post by Alex, that is the builder of this. A1EX actually and um, he says latest update this is four hours ago and today is May 11th I believe uh, so you click this link it'll take you to the latest and then you want to click download and that'll download a zip file onto your drive so what you want to do is um, open this zip file here so you open that zip file and you want to extract to um, I'm just going to extract to I have a, a folder dedicated to Magic Lantern in my document file so extract to Magic Lantern under documents hit OK So now let's double check to make sure we have all those files. So I exit out of this, go down here to Magic Lantern. So it looks like we got everything we need. So next thing you're going to do is go to the third link posted. Um, and this is a link to the Magic Lantern firmware wiki under a post called Using Cards Larger Than 4 Gigabytes. And what you need to do is download two programs that will help you change your card to a writable card because um, remember when we changed that text in the notepad that made it no longer writable so we're going to download boot cf right here download that from here and that'll download 
and then we are also going to download cc3280mt.dll from here. I'm going to click that. So now we're going to find this file as seen here, and then we are going to go to our desktop and um, I'm going to create a file on my desktop called Canon. And I did this earlier, so basically what I did is I uh, moved those files, that boot CF file and the uh, DLL file into here, into a folder labeled Canon on my desktop. And those are the only two files in there. So now we can get out of this. All right, so now you can see we have the Magic Lantern files and the other two files I had you download. Next, you're going to go into Command Prompt. You can search Command Prompt right here. Open this, and that'll bring up this classic black box. And what you're going to first type is CD space desktop. And that'll take you to your desktop. Then you go CD space Canon. Press Enter. And then you type boot cf.exe space and you want to find out what drive letter your card is at. Mine right here as you can see is J. EOS Digital J. That's the drive. So going back into command prompt, make sure there's a space. Type J colon press enter give it a second and then it'll say labels not found right labels so that's not a bad sign that's good and then you want to press W press enter and you're done exit out of that you can exit out of this Canon folder so now you have this folder left the magic lantern folder and you're gonna go into your computer into your flash card here and what you're going to do is take the auto exec bin, the magic lantern.fir, and then if you want crop marks on your camera, basically marks that uh, to make it look more cinematic, basically just adds black bars so that you can frame your pictures accordingly. Um, it doesn't actually record the black bars onto the video, but it's helpful for framing if you're going to add letterboxing later. So hold control, choose all those drag them onto your flash card and it'll copy those onto there next you will safely remove the card from your computer and proceed to install it on your Canon 550D okay so you got your magic lantern firmware on this card here the new one this is um this build is for May 12th it's the latest Put it into your camera here, close it, make sure it's on manual mode, turn it on, let it boot up, then you're going to go ahead and press menu, go over to the third wrench where it says firmware version 109, make sure it's 109 before you install this firmware, and then click OK, you want to update, click OK again, give it a second, you will notice the classic magic lantern text show up there you go red light goes on wait for it to go off and goes off perfect now turn off the camera take the battery out for just a few seconds like so back in and uh, turn it on turn the camera on you can go all the way to movie mode here and now you will see the classic magic lantern look um, when you first install it's going to give you this weird uh, false color reading here you'll see in a second it will go back um, to turn that off and to access any part of the menus you press the trash bin here 
and you can go through. There's a bunch of different ones. Uh, I'm not going to go into depth. They are confusing. Uh, just learn. There's tons of videos out there. So just look around for specific options. To turn false, co false color off, go to live view. Go down to false color. Turn off. You want My recommendations is you leave the histogram on. Zebras, you want to leave on on Luma and then um, crop marks you can change between them uh, I'll, show, I'll just show you an example of Cinescope 2 spot meter uh, you know that's up to your discretion <coughs> excuse me in audio um, one great feature of this is the AGC disabling so in audio meters probably leaving movie only. Analog gain, you can keep it between 29 and 32 usually. Uh, that's what I do, 29 most of the time. AGC went off most of the time, unless it's not important for sound, but um, yeah. Input, internal mic or external, depending on what you have. And, uh, ooh, sorry, monitoring USB. This is if you're attaching a um, external screen such as the hair as I reviewed earlier through this USB port then you uh, want that to be on so that you can monitor sound because the hair or a, almost every other port does have a um, does have a uh, headphone jack on it so you can monitor sound but only if you have magic lantern installed um, one thing you'll also notice is that as you go through the menu a new feature first of all the menu looks a lot nicer um, it's got this nice black background, it doesn't flicker, and also at the bottom here um, is a little explanation of each uh, menu option. And that, like, for instance, the AGC says, automatic gain control, turn it off, smiley face. So, those are different options. Uh, in the bitrate, I usually keep it at default, not to overload my camera. Uh, if you have a really fast card, you can put it on, like, 16, Q scale minus 16. Um... You have all these different options. This is the shoot menu. It's for um, still photography. Uh, there's exposure where you can change your ISO so that you can actually go in between like 200 and 400. You can set exact Kelvin on white balance. And then you can set shutter. Uh, that's actually really helpful because like you can go really small intervals um, and it goes up extremely high. Uh, one kind of annoying thing is that when you are trying to go through the menus, uh, you can't like hold down and go, so you have to press the set button and the display button, set goes up, display goes down, and it'll, you know, like, return as you can see to the original. So, yep, and then, um... Press trash bin just to go in and out of the menu. And oh, here's an example of the uh, crop marks. As you can see, these black bars with these red lines. So that just shows you like what's in the frame. Um, one really helpful thing that I've noticed is I don't know if you can see this, but when you have it in when you have the camera in manual focus mode, and then you're adjusting focus, you'll notice you can actually um, they give you a little focus box right here that shows you what's in the center of your frame to help you focus so that's really cool um, and that's helpful so there's the histogram that can help you with exposure uh, so this is just loaded with options I'm not going to go through them all but explore it learn and good luck so there you go that's the latest build how to uninstall it when you have a problem and then reinstall it so, good luck.